In this video, we'll be looking at trig function values for angles given in radian measure. Our first problem is to evaluate the cosine of 5 pi over 6. Now, if you need to, you can convert 5 pi over 6 2 degrees. I prefer not to do that. I prefer to look at this as 6 pi over 6 is a semicircle. So 5 pi over 6 is in the second quadrant. I'm drawing my reference triangle. My right angle is here. And whenever I have pi divided by 6, we know that that's a 30 degree reference angle. So if I have a 30 degree reference angle, then I can put my numbers on this reference triangle. My 2 would be the hypotenuse. And then the side opposite the 30 is 1. And the side opposite the other angle, which would be 60, will be a root 3. Now I also know that since this measurement is to the left of the y-axis, then I would put a negative sign on this measurement. Um, this one's up, so it's positive. Now for the cosine of this angle, we want the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So my cosine of 5 pi over 6 is a negative root 3 over 2. Another one. On this one we have a cotangent of 3 pi over 4. Whenever I have a denominator of 4, I know that I'm dealing with a 45-45 right triangle. 3 pi over 4 is going to be in quadrant 2. And the reference angle is 1 pi over 4. And so this is going to be a 45 degree reference angle, which means I put 1, 1, root 2 on my sides. And this one's to the left, so he gets a negative. This one's above, so it's positive. This is our right angle. Now cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. The tangent of this reference angle is positive 1 over negative 1. So if I flip that upside down and do the reciprocal, then this is going to be a negative 1 over a positive 1, which is just a negative 1. My last one, we have 5 pi over 3. Now 5 thirds is more than 1, and in fact it's just short of being 6 pi over 3. 6 pi over 3 would be a, a complete 2 pi revolution. So this is going to be in quadrant 4. Pi over 3 is the same as a 60 degree reference angle. So I have a 60 degree reference angle there, which is pi over 3, 1 pi over 3. And I can put my numbers in. This one's 60, so this angle is 30. So we have a 1, and my hypotenuse is always 2 for a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And then this one is a root 3. Now this side going to the right is positive, but this one going down is a negative, so I need a negative there. Now secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So if I look at my cosine of 5 pi over 3, I know that that's adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's 1 half, which means my secant of 5 pi over 3 is the reciprocal of that, so 2 over 1, which is just 2.